you in good afternoon. This is Sam Vaughn for Sam Sports Report. We finish off the AFC standings. I'll give my prediction of the record, and then I'll give my prediction now of the record. AFC West. I've got the Chiefs finishing 12 and 5. Chargers coming in a surprise 10 and 7. Raiders 9 and 8. Broncos. Bills 11 and 6. Dolphins 9 and 8. Patriots 9 and 8. Jets 9 and 8. I had Bills going 9 and 8. I had the Dolphins going 11 and 6. But without two a tongue of a low, I think that hurts. I just don't know if they're that good anymore, as good as they used to be. Jets, I also had a 9. I think I had the Jets at 9 and 8. AFC South. Titans, Texans 11 and 6. Jaguars 8 and 9. Colts 8 9. Titans. 6 and 11. I had the Colts 10 and 7 to start the season with the Texans still winning. AFC North. Steelers 10 and 7. I had them. Bengals 9 and 8. Baltimore 8 and 9. I had them, I believe, 11 and 6. And Cleveland 8 and 9. I may have had them 9 and 8. Chiefs or Bills win the. AFC, I have, would not have picked the Bills at the start of the season, but that's what I'm coming around to. NFC West, even with all the 49ers injuries, I still had the 49ers at 10 and 7. I had them at 11 and 6. Seattle 10 and 7, winning the tiebreaker 49ers. Cardinals 9 and 8, a surprising 9 and 8. I didn't have them very good. That's all I know. Rams 7 and 10 with all their injuries. NFC South. Saints 11 and 6. Did not have the Saints 11 and 6. Buccaneers 9 and 8. That would I had them before. Landon 8 and 9. Panthers 3 and 14. NFC East. Dallas 10 and 7. Philadelphia 9 and 8. Washington 7 and 10. Giants 5 and 11. I think I had Patriot, the Dallas at 11 and 5 as well. NFC North, Green Bay 10 and 7 after losing their quarterback. Vikings 9 and 8. Bears 8 and 9. Those teams flip flopped. Detroit 9 and 8. Winning the NFC, Green Bay figures it out by that time. Now on to the college game. The Jayhawks have lost back to back games of people thinking they don't have a quarterback. Running back Devin Neal. The Jayhawks are having a hard time with Jaden Daniels, a Heisman Trophy, up for the Heisman Trophy a couple years ago. Their backup would be quarterback Cole Ballard, wide receiver Luke Grimm, tight end is having a good year. The Jayhawks are lacking in the receiving spot because maybe their quarterback can't. I think Kansas is 27th in defense. Kobe Bryant is a player to watch out for for the Hawks. 11 o'clock, two and a half the line for West Virginia. Mizzou quarterback Brady Cook. I don't realize, know we realize how good he is. I certainly didn't, but he is fourth in Mizzou all-time passing yards. Wide receiver Nate Norell and Marcus Carroll have a, had a great season. Theo Weiss and Luther Burden are players to watch out for. Nate Noel and Marcus Carroll are running back starting. Mizzou has one of the best one-two punches in the game. Corey Flagg has been a big surprise for the Missouri Tigers. Daywin Norwood and Blake Craig have been special teams. Dayden Norwood is a defensive player. Five things... Uh, Dagan Graff will keep the ball for Vanderbilt. That's the only way thing I outlined for Vanderbilt. Five things you need to know. Drinkwitz has never lost to. Eli Drinkwitz has never lost to Vanderbilt, the head coach. Mizzou converts third down opportunities. The Commodores have a dual threat quarterback and Diego Paive. Vanderbilt is one of the best turnover ratios in the country. The Commodores are without their safety for the first half. Kick is at 315, Mizzou by 18 
0.7. Give me Mizzou by 16, 36-20. Kansas State versus BYU. Kansas State quarterback Avery Johnson, who has been what they have been wanted, but he is 3-0. DJ Guidance has been everything. Avery Johnson hasn't been quite what they expected, but has, is 3-0. And that's the most important thing. DJ Guidance has been everything Kansas State could ask for and more. The Cats look at the receiver spot. Chase Roberts for BYU is a player to watch out for. For the Kansas State defense, Austin Romine, leader on the outline. He has two sacks again. These teams, Kansas State lacks... Wide receivers, Tulane. Look for a better defense than Tulane, but they have played well as of late. Game time is at 9.30. They only allowed seven points against Arizona. Cats are by fair by six and a half. Tennessee OU, six and 15. Both teams are undefeated. ABC, ESPN Plus. Number seven, Tennessee is favored by 8.4 over OU. Kick is at 3 and 4 Eastern. Utah and Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State is to host. Kick is at 3. Oklahoma State by 2.5 over Utah, number 12. Night game for the top 25. Nebraska hosts Illinois. Nebraska is favored by 7.5. Kick is at 7. That's Sam on Sports. Um, what do you do to cope with your disability? So what do I do to cope is I do a lot of self-reflecting, um, and a lot of, um, analyzing of my thoughts. I'm really aware of thoughts that come into my head, you know, obviously with all the tens of thousands of thoughts a day that you get, you can't keep, keep track of all of them. But I also, and sometimes I feel a little, I get if I get paranoid or feel a little paranoid, I kind of analyze it and say, is this, you know, and, and think a little bit more about the thought as if if this is, you know, um, reality, which usually it isn't. Um, and I also I do a lot of self analyzing. Um, I do some writing and reading and I like exercising, going to the gym, um, playing guitar my support system with my parents and everything. My parents are a really good support system as well. I think one thing to recovery is um, sometimes you, you have to realize that you can't succeed alone. And sometimes you can't solve problems on your own if solve them at all. And you need, you know, you, sometimes you need help and that's okay. And I think that one thing that helps me is if I ever get like a like a thought, I, like a paranoid thought, I always am honest to my psychiatrist about it and my parents and I talk to them about it and they usually um, ground me. Um, and I think I'm, I'm blessed for that. You know, gratitude is very important. Um, being thankful for your some challenges. Let's see. A lot of it is just like mentally, you know, staying sharp and um, basically just uh, it's all it's all in your head. You know, for me, the biggest challenge is, is myself and, um, you know, how I how I stick with, um, you know, keep keep on moving forward. Um, it, it can be challenging um, sometimes when when you have, you know, anxiety come up or um, negative thoughts or something like that so I think it's really really how you deal with it and how you analyze it um, writing writing stuff down really helps and like I said communicating with my psychiatrist and my parents as well really helps biggest challenge is so when when advocating you know and speaking with NAMI alongside NAMI is eliminating the stigma behind mental illness and mental health just kind of for the walk. I don't know if we'll get the whole picture in there. But it, oh, that's it, cool. Did you make that? I made that and um and then it's got these little things on there. You probably can't see them. But cool. then I made that and then I have a QR code at the this will be at the walk and I'm having my own booth. 
And this okay. Is, it's a QR code, and that's the business card, and that's that. So I just wanted to mention that. And if you don't have anything else, I'll let you get back to your afternoon. Cool. Is this going to be on your podcast? 